Hey guys, make sure you stand to the end. One common mistake people make when replacing fuses relays that can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Mercedes E-Class. That generation here from year 2010 to year 2016. If you have one of those, if you need to find where the fuse for the steering column is located, which fuse you need to check, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste your money and time and why it's important to always test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Now, if you have a Mercedes E-Class, that generation from year 2010 to year 2016, 17 guys, this is the W212 guys. We're going to have a video for every single fuse relay on that car, why things do not work, why we're making this one, because uh, we're trying to save you time and money guys. Let's say you're down the road in the middle of nowhere, your car does not start, you need to find where your engine starter fuse relay is located guys, where you can find fuel injection uh, system uh, fuses, fuel pump fuses, all you have to do, come to the channel, watch that video, one, two minutes, you're back on the road guys. In addition, we'll share where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste your money and time. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix mechanical, electrical, engine work guys, body work, a little bit of everything and we have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars guys in free repair videos. Check it out if you need help with that. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So the steering column fuse where you can find it now, we'll demonstrate on that generation Mercedes E-Class here. This is the pre-facelifted model, this is the facelifted model but it should work for both. You have multiple fuse boxes but today we'll be working in two of them. The first one you need to open the hood. Once you do that on the driver's side guys you have a fuse box under this cover here. Once you open that cover you're going to find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So, it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we have to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system I will never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery, guys, okay, common mistake people make, it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules, how we know about that? We burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost us $2,000 guys, so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first, check it out for your convenience. So here as we need to check, okay, for the steering column one fuse, then we need to go to a different fuse box. Here, okay, if you need to buy guys, fuses, relays, parts, tools at a really good price and quick shipping, we'll put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience. But here guys, okay, now the steering column fuses, where they're located. The fuse that you need to check is fuse number 13, that fuse right here. The number will be printed right next to the fuse. Then you need to guys, okay, go ahead and open the trunk. Once you do that, you have a fuse box under this cover, open it. You find the main trunk fuse box with a layout like this one. There guys, okay, you need to check one fuse and that's known as fuse number 65. You wonder where that one in the very corner right here that you will need to check. Hopefully guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.